Welcome to the Devil of Tomes with your host, Indie Comics Jones. Hope you're doing well today. Um, once again, we're hitting, <laughs> we're over 90 degrees. Uh, I know I'm, I'm harping on this, but there's not a lot going on uh, other than the weather here. I think so. most things are kind of still closed down and we're waiting to get things going again. Um, hopefully the uh, demonstrations and riots, mostly the riots, I don't really mind the demonstrations, but the riots have settled down and everybody's safe and um, feeling better about things in general. I know the, the uh, COVID thing is still out there and in some states that might have sp spiked up a bit, but I think they're doing a lot of increased testing, so that might be part of it as well. So I'm going to take a look at uh, the Superman 100-page um, Superman Giant. Uh, this is for episode 23. We did look at another giant a uh, couple episodes back. It was Our Fighting Forces by DC, and I love that one. I just absolutely loved it. It was eight uh, stories, eight short stories, and uh, seven of eight I I enjoyed. Uh, one was a little bit disconnected, but um, this is Superman, a different thing. And I and I guess from what I pick up, they've been selling these at uh, Walmart, um, kind of in the Tchotchke area. Uh, it's hard; they're hard to find, uh, but they're there apparently, like in a box, a uh, little box display, and they're just laying fa um, face up, not not propped up or anything. So. Not real easy to spot. They're not in the book section. They're not in the, um, the uh, Funko. It's not in the any you know the entertainment section. It's just kind of stuck off the side. So I'm going to try to find them on my own. This one I picked up at my comic store, 2011 Comics, and it is the number three. So there's been two others, and I like to. There's only four stories in this. I show three, but four stories in this, and. Uh, uh, one of them is brand new, and that is the one with, it says Brainiac, but I'm not sure. I thought that was like the third one. I think that the new one is, I think they screwed up this cover. Because the first story, I believe, is a new story. I, did, I couldn't see it, find it in there. I looked them up. I looked them up. And uh first one has features the Toy Man, and it's a... This was my favorite one of all of them uh, that I read in here. Um, it has to do with the Toy Man and Lex Luthor's in it. And I just absolutely love the colors on this. This is a $4.99 comic. Just wonderful colors. I, I'm just so happy. I mean, I, I'm so used to seeing this all the time. This, this These muted, saturated colors that just kind of make everything darkish. Uh, brown. So when I got something like this, I was loving it. So this is a, a pretty good story. It has to do with a little bit of revenge. Um, Superman's in it, of course. Lois Lane's in it. Lex Luthor, you can see it's, it's pretty well drawn. Um, I like the art in this as well. Um, not too many eating scenes, but there are eating scenes in it. And the, the Toy Man is, is basically uh, very upset with Lex Luthor kind of uh, taking away all his toy business and doing things that he didn't feel that were right. Um, but in the, in the meantime, I guess Lex Luthor is, um, has bought it for reasons of his own. And there's the kind of twist at the end is, is kind of like an Indiana Jones type twist, which I really liked. Uh, um, so if you like indie, indie comics, Jones and indie Anna Jones, then you might like the ending of this one and it is a to be continued. And that's what they're doing on this. There's four stories in here and, uh, there is a, a one, like a one shot, one story in here, but the other three are continuations and they're in different, um, they're in different parts of their arc. They're not all complete. Like there's one so that'll be completed. This one just started. One says it's three of five, the third part. Another one says it's going to be concluded in the next uh, giant, which would be number four. Um, and the final one was the one shot. And uh, the I think this is brand new. I'm pretty sure this is a new comic. It's not been issued before. It's a new one. So the neat thing about this, they're selling this at Walmart, $4.99. Um, it is good 
pretty good storytelling. Um, it gives you a sample of different series that were going on within Superman, different arcs, I should say. And I, I enjoyed it. I uh, just finished it. I picked it up on Wednesday. I don't know if it's been in at Walmart for uh, longer than that. Uh, I'd heard of these before, but I'd never seen them there. So I'm going to try to find them next time I go. They're supposedly have for Batman, Justice League, uh, maybe Aquaman, and maybe Wonder Woman has one. Um, like I said, I first kind of really started paying attention with it with at these with uh, our fighting forces. Um, but this is like in something that you can get at Walmart. So uh, you don't have to go to the comic store if they don't carry them. I, I think this would be very smart for the comic stores to carry the entire line of these if they're still available in the earlier um, issues. The, uh, the reason for that is newer, newer fans can come in and they can get something ra rather inexpensively, not pay $4 for a comic they might pick up that's in the middle of an arc. Um, it's got a little bit of everything. It gives you a little bit of a sampler. But they are good stories. I don't think they're giving you the the, the lousy stories in here. Um, the ones, let's see, let's go through it real quick. First one is the Toy Man, my favorite of them. And look, look at the colors. I just love that. It is on newsprint, but it seems like a little higher grade newsprint, not the um, kind you would have found back in the 80s and before that. Uh, so that's kind of kind of nice. The second one is actually a Supergirl story that has to do with Bizarro World. Um, it was kind of interesting, and I think this is the first. I'm not positive. I think this is the first, just a two parter. So the next part will conclude the story. Could go to B Bizarro World, and Superman does show up later, and it has Bizarro Supergirl and Bizarro Superman, and they go to Bizarro World, which is under attack, and. It, you know, it was pretty decent. Um, I got a little tired of the Bizarro World speak with with all the kind of backwards talk with Am in every uh, sentence just about. Um, but like, as you can see, the art is good and Supergirl looks real good in this. And Bizarro Supergirl looks okay. As good as she can look, I guess. <laughs> But uh, it was a it was okay story. I didn't didn't I didn't love it. The third story in here and there's the big spread. Da, 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 cheating a little. Um, the third story had to do with Brainiac, and I was really looking forward to this because I uh, Brainiac was one of my favorite uh, villains when I was reading Superman back in the day. And this one's is I believe it's part three of five. Um, so part three, and I think there's two more parts that will come up. Like I'm assuming the next Giants. This was in um, Superman or Action Comics eight sixty eight. Uh, the Supergirl story was previously. I think it's like Supergirl. Uh, I can't remember now. I'm drawing a blank, and I apologize. I think it was three hundred and something. I think it's in the back. I'll, I'll get. I'll look at it in a second. And the um, the last story here is a Grant Morrison story that appeared in the Zero issue of the New 52. And uh, let's see, I'm still kind of stuck on the, uh, here we go. And I, I, the art's good, but I don't like the art style and I don't like the coloring. But that's just me. Um, some other people might really like it. And this has to do with um, Superman's cape goes missing. And it was an okay read. It was it was nice. I uh, hear the boy who stole Superman's cape is the name. Finn Grant Morrison was the writer. Um, so uh, it was you know, it was an interesting okay story. I didn't love it. The first story really got me. I, I'm really looking forward to getting the next issue of that. And. Uh, they, this is the, kind of the one shot they talk about in the next one. Uh, a Superman story for Halloween, the ghost in the Fortress of Solitude. So I'm not sure if that means Superman number four comes out in uh, the fall, maybe September or so. I'm not sure. Um, and let's see if I can look up the Supergirl. It's really small. Oh, sorry about this. Please talk amongst yourselves while I try to figure this out. 
Supergirl 56. Okay. So, um, yeah. That was the uh, Bizarro World one. So, there's a Supergirl comic in here. And I'm assuming that means that... Um, oh, there's a hard graphic collection of Superman Year One coming out. Or it's on sale. Black Label. So, um, recommend... Uh, the price alone is is worth the price of admission. Um, the stories were good. The first story I really enjoyed, and the last one's a Grant Morrison story, and it's a good story. It's just kind of an all well, all around feel good story. Uh, the other two are continuing arcs. Um, so to wrap it up, get it. <laughs> and I'm gonna go try to see if I can hunt down some of the other giants because I I've really enjoyed this. And go back and look at Fighting Forces if you get a chance, because that had some real good stories. And they were all military-based stories, but uh, they were like eight, eight pagers, or 12 pagers, I guess, um, stories in there. So very short, eight, eight of them. Um, but this one was pretty good, too. Um, I'm glad I bought it. So this is Indie Comics Jones signing off. Hope you have a good one. And we'll see you later in the Temple of Tomes. Take care.